Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video, and yes, I'm back on the NBA-related videos. I'm back in the setup, got the light, got the curry, and I've got the LED lights, everything. And yes, I'm back in from the title and from the thumbnail. Yes, breaking news in Warriors basketball. We're going to go through. We're back on the NBA stuff, so what it means is it'll be more uh, the NBA ladder predictions videos going to be coming out soon. So if you haven't seen the update post on what I've explained, go check that out. But this is going to be an off-season Warriors basketball type of video, but it's really just going to be breaking news because this is all dropped today or in the last two days or so. So I'm going to go through, and all this video is is breaking, breaking news, breaking stuff, Warriors basketball. So first off, breaking, we've got really two main breaking uh, new news is that's this new information that's just dropped um, from different sources and all that. But we'll go through. First one is the Warriors signing Usman Garuba. The Warriors, yes, I, on my community post, the Warriors are still looking for some... Um, Warriors are still in strong free agency, looking to deepen their bench a little bit to get more assets, get some young guys, get some veterans. Because the Warriors have just got Chris Paul, they've just got Darius Saric, Corey Joseph... Etc. They've also signed, I think, Lester Quinones again on a two-way contract. So the Warriors are slowly making moves to hopefully get a better roster for this upcoming season. So there's a, the NBA offseason is still going on, but there's because the season is starting in honestly, I think, forty days or something like that. So teams still going to get trades, are going to get moves, but the Warriors really focused on the Warriors in this video. They've made some two big moves. So yes, the Warriors are signing Usman Garuba. He is a um. From the Houston, from the Houston Rocket, Rockets, a former twenty third overall pick in the twenty twenty one draft. Um, um, yeah, so they've they've signed free agent center Usman Garuba has agreed on a two way NBA contract with the Warriors. Sources told Anthony Sater and Shams, the former Rockets first round pick is coming off and is coming off averaging eight point two points, four rebounds for Spain in the World Cup. So he played for Spain in the FIBA World Cup just recently. So we're getting a guy who knows how to play. He's played before. He's really good. He's averaging good solid points. Um, but the potential, but it's the defensive position that makes this guy such a prospect when he's deciding. And so when he entered the draft, defense was really on his mind. So he, we need help with defense, and he can do that. He is a forward. He can he averages at around twelve minutes a game. If we can have him around, um, yeah, it's it's gonna be good. So we're, I'm excited to see him play. And also, we signed him to a two way. So if he doesn't get minutes in the Warriors, we'll be playing Santa Cruz. So what I think it is, it'll be fun to see Garuba. Um, develop further with the Warriors. I think he can develop into a better player with the Warriors. So the Warriors picking him up is a good... No one really heard of him. I haven't heard of this guy since today, honestly, or yesterday. So I think it'll be good for him to develop with the Warriors. The Warriors love their bi um, bigs that can pass, and Garuba can do that. So it'll, he'll be a key impact player for this Warriors organization, for this Warriors team, when the preseason starts, when the regular season starts, it will be good. He can, he can, he has defense potential. Make smart plays on the court and the end of the floor. He's hard to imagine better mentor than a blueprint of a player than him. He's trying to be Kevon Looney. So he, him against Kavon, again, alongside Kevon Looney with this Warriors and how their rotation is going to work. I'm excited to see him play. I haven't seen him play before at all. So the first time he's going to see him playing is probably preseason at Chaser, honestly. So it's going to be good. Um, now they have a pair of two players with a two-way contract. Lester Quinn is, and now Garuba joins him. Um, that's really all that information we need on Garuba. There's nothing more. If you want to find more information on Garuba, go, go down and have a look because... Not down below, sorry. Go to the website, search up Usman Garuba, and you'll find all this information. So Warriors have signed him. They've officially signed Garuba on a contract, so he's on the roster now. But there's also more news. Another breaking news that's dropped, I think, today is Dwight Howard. Yes, the Warriors... Dwight Howard will be meeting with the Warriors next week to discuss new deal scenarios, new deal with the Warriors. So yes, this, bi this is big news. Dwight Howard to meet to the Warriors next week per sources. How will he fit with Golden State? Is the end of that question here. The Warriors have it. The big, the big major Warriors issue for last season was size. We finished six. We 
sixth seed in the West. Not we had we had really no size. All our guys left from last season. We did win the twenty twenty two championship without size, but teams getting more height, bigger and bigger. And our struggle last season was road wins and size. We had zero depth, bench depth. Our tallest player was Kavon Looney at 6'9". We had no one taller. So the main key for this offseason was to get some size. We got Darius Sarri to 6'10", stretch big. And now we're looking into Dwight Howard, which is big. So they have ex- they're ex- they're have explored signing a veteran reserve big man and Dwight Howard soon to visit Golden State team officials. Howard has expressed to interest teams this offseason as he's shaped and ready to contribute to any form of a franchise entering its 19th season. So Dwight Howard is currently playing over in Taiwan for this Taiwan team in the T1 league, and he's expressed interest in playing for these teams. He's had some, he's excited, he wants to come back and play. So that's what he's really saying there. 37-year-old last played in the NBA during the 2021-22 season with the Lakers, averaging 6 points, 5.9 rebounds per game. He spent the last season in Taiwan. Okay, so here it is there. Eight-time or NBA All-Star Dwight Howard to meet with the Golden State Warriors next week. Sources tell The Athletic the team has been exploring signing reserve. Okay, okay. Now, why bring in Howard? The Warriors remain still a bit too short. The reason we're, at, the, we're looking into signing Dwight Howard is for size purposes. A veteran big man off the bench is going to be key for the Warriors. We have really had struggle in the last year or two, you could say, with size in the front court. We are going to come up against Nicole Jokic, Anthony Davis, Giannis, Joel Embiid, etc. They've all they really had is their starting center. All all we've already had in the starting center for the Warriors is Kabon Looney. We've added Dario Saric, which is great, but it's it it's not. I does I don't think it feels good enough. We have size, but we need more size. You know what I mean. So adding, if we can, if we can sign D- Dwight Howard, thirty-seven-year-old veteran big man, to come off the bench for some little minutes, get some boards, and move the ball, Warriors have size that there are chances of championship. So really, um, I'm I'm excited honestly to see the Warriors right now. The only upside for no, sorry, Dwight Howard's really the only positive the Warriors can get out of this. There's really, they got Blake Griffin, Ernst the well, but you want to White Howard. He's a veteran, and if I still have it here, I'll find it. Steve Kerr likes his mindset. Steve Kerr likes, yeah, here it is. So these are more sources from Jason Dumas. Dwight Howard will arrive in the Bay on Monday. Monday next week, he'll arrive in the Bay and do a workout on Tuesday and Wednesday with the Warriors. There will also be meetings there with Steve Kerr and Mike Dunleavy Jr. with Dwight Howard to look at some um, new deal um, scenarios, new deals, perhaps whatever. But the only reason why he's coming here is because Steve Kerr likes his mindset. He is most interested in Dwight's mindset. He's in, he's great of a role player and desire to be good vets for the young guys. So the meetings will be important for Dwight Howard and the Warriors front office to discuss how will he roll. And I honestly think this this is going to go ahead. I think Warriors will get Dwight Howard. But the way he's a veteran guard and all the young guys we have him... Brandon Zensky, Trace Ashing Davis, Moses Mooney, Kaminga, etc., etc. Those young guys, and along with Dwight Howard, veteran in the locker room, along with Draymond Green, is going to be good. That's really the main reason why they've chosen him uh, to be there with him. But that's really all the story is. Can the Warriors... This is just breaking news that's dropped. The Warriors are looking into signing Dwight Howard. The Warriors have signed Usman Garuba. So the, I think the Warriors have made great season, great moves this offseason. Signing Chris Paul, getting Corey Joseph, getting good draft picks, getting Garuba, the team, getting Dario Saric. Like, Warriors have made good, good moves. But I believe that if the Warriors will sign, I believe the Warriors will sign Dwight Howard on a new deal and have a veteran center to come off the bench. Now, I'm just picturing this lineup. The starters, of course, Curry, Thompson, and Paul and Wiggins is... I'll put two Paul and Wiggins there because there is also news that also dropped a few days ago that Chris Paul will probably be starting. So I'll put there... So the main standing lineup, I think, will be Curry, Thompson, Wiggins, Green, Looney, you could say. And just say you put six on the starters, and off the bench, you'll have Kaminga, Dario Saric, Corey Joseph, Moses Mooney, Gary Payne the second, Trace Jackson Davis... Brandon Pazenski, Garuba, and you add Dwight Howard to that bench, there's 
13, 15 guys on that on that roster. The Warriors will have more depth if Dwight Howard signs with the Warriors. They'll have a better roster than last year. This roster now has depth off the bench that can fill in when Curry's off the floor. Because last season, the Warriors struggled when Curry's off the floor. Their minutes, the points the other team got was way high. Now you add rebounders, playmakers, and role players. It's going to be exciting to see what the Warriors can do and what else is to come in during this season. So this is all that information is, guys. It was a quick blur-out video, but I just had breaking news that's dropped. Garuba signs, and the Warriors are interested in Dwight Howard. So stay up to date on my community posts on Doorman. Up to date with more information on Dwight Howard. If he signs, if he doesn't, I'll update you still. But more stuff to come. Stay tuned for an NBA ladder prediction. Um, who make, who makes the playoffs, who doesn't, my, where everyone's... The standing, sorry. And then... NRL tip videos coming up, the prelim final winning tips, the green final tips, etc. But just stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for supporting me. Appreciate it. Big news in the NBA. A lot more from NBA stuff to come on. Just stay with me. Stay subscribed. Like the, all the videos. And until next time, guys, enjoy life and have fun. Peace. Cheers.